going to allow him to look at the trailer there. He starts showing some expression. This is completely different, you know, lowering his head a little bit more. He is still blowing a little bit, if you can hear that on the mic. And now we've got that lack of a desire to go forward. I'm going to rub him. Now that he's not being as reactive to the stick and string, it gives me a way to communicate with him when he is making the right decision. So as he looks at that trailer and he's making that right decision, I can actually rub him and reassure him a little bit. I'm going to ask him to take a step forward, block him with my hand, let him investigate. And then I'm going to take him away. I'm going to take him away from there, and I'm going to send him over this direction because he was in the middle of investigating. And rather than waiting until he decides that he wants to leave there, I'm going to ask him to leave and then ask him to come back up. That starts to raise the question in his head of what do I really want? Because at first, when, I, when we brought him up to the trailer, he was pretty sure that I was going to force him to go on. But now that I've taken him away, he may start to ask the question of what is it that you want. He may also start trying to think about some other things. He's, you know, he's still thinking about leaving. But you can see he's under emotional control now. Now the emotional control is not so much our problem. Now the motivation is our problem. There is focus is back in the trailer again. I may move him away from here so I can liven up his feet a little bit more. Because now he's getting sticky. He's getting sticky. He doesn't want to go forward. And that's a problem for me. This is where he needs to find some balance with this stick and string. He needs to look at the stick and string not just as something that is to scratch him and not just as something that is used to uh, cause a lot of pressure, he needs to look at it like guidance. And right now, he still doesn't look at it like that. That's where I'm going to reward, because he wasn't looking at me. He was looking into the trailer. I'm stepping on the gas pedal back there. You can see him really trying to process it. I'm trying to annoy him. And my hope is to get him till he looks at that trailer right there. Now he looked right past it after that. So we're playing a little game of hot or colder here. I'm just using this stick and string to annoy him. He's not stepping into my space, which is why I still feel comfortable. There, he looked in the direction I wanted, so I'm going to leave him alone. This is where I was talking earlier about the fact that he's processing things slower makes him a lot easier to train. When he was running around throwing fits, that was a really difficult horse to work with. Now that he's made the mental shift into slowing down, I can wish that he had a little more life in his feet, but I'm actually happy that he's trying to think this out slowly. 